Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a fashion one and one that I've kind of been wanting to film for a while. I actually put it on my Instagram stories yesterday and on my Snapchat and stuff and I asked you what you wanted to see and I think the main thing that you wanted to see were just autumn outfit ideas. So that is exactly what I'm going to show you today. I have six outfits for you and um, they're all a bit different. Some are casual, some are more dressy and um, there's jeans, there's pants, there's skirts. It's a big mix so let's get right into it. So for each outfit how I've done it is that I've actually picked one hero piece from each outfit. So whether it was a pair of boots or a skirt or like a statement pair of trousers, I've kind of found that piece and then I styled the whole outfit around it. So I'll show you the kind of hero piece of each outfit and then I'll show you how I styled it up. So the first one are these amazing pair of wide leg trousers and I've said it before but I kind of live in jeans but this season I've been trying my best to get out of that comfort zone because often wide leg trousers are actually more comfortable than jeans because jeans can be tight <laughs> especially if they're skinny so I find that wearing trousers when I'm going to meetings or any kind of events or anything like that I find trousers so nice to wear because I feel dressed up but also very comfortable so you'll have seen from a vlog a recent vlog that I went into mango recently and I found these pair of wide leg trousers oh my god I actually can't tell you how much I love them you probably can tell um, with my reaction <laughs> but basically they're like a camel cream pair of wide leg trousers really structured one simple button at the top and they're just the nicest fit and you'll see now when I style them up in the cutaway how beautiful that they fit. Um, they're definitely a bit long for me still. I'm gonna try and get them tailored up a little bit, but I wanted to show you in today's video. I just couldn't wait. So let's see how I style them. Okay, so when styling this look, I went for one of my favorite color palettes, black, white, and camel. I just love these colors together. I was gonna do a plain black, like polo neck or something, but I figured I'd bring a bit of fun into it with the stripes. Again, it kind of brings something statement to it, but it's still very classic. Um, this is from Reese, the stripe jumper, and so is this kind of longer style blazer. I wear this so much this time of the year. I have like a million black blazers, but this is the one I always reach for in autumn, winter. Very, very simple, but you can kind of recreate this with whatever you have. So if you have a black, wide leg trousers, you know, maybe put a camel jumper in a black jacket or you could do a camel jacket and a black wide leg trousers. There's loads of options for this one. So yeah, I literally can't wait to wear this outfit. <laughs> okay, and then outfit number two, the main piece that I styled kind of this outfit around is this chunky gray knit, which I believe that everyone should have one of these in their wardrobe, whether it's in black or camel or gray or even kind of like a cream color. These are so handy. Um, this particular one, like it's quite chunky and oversized and the sleeves are also kind of oversized and I got this, it's from And Other Stories. I'll be able to link this one below and I got the extra small. I know the easy option for knitwear and I do it so much is to put on a pair of jeans and a pair of boots and you're ready to go. But for this video, I wanted to kind of just like go outside my comfort zone and this is a way to style it, which is a little bit different, but I think you're gonna like it. So let's see how I style this up. Okay, this one is really fun. So as I said, plain grey jumper, how can you kind of spruce it up a bit? So I added a leather skirt, black leather skirt, my sock boots and this really fun kind of cape style thing. So basically it just kind of goes over your shoulders and there's a little gap on each side for your hands and it's grey on the outside and then pink on the inside and it has the little pom-poms. It's probably a little bit like more fun than my usual style. I usually stick to kind of classic pieces, but I just saw this and I loved it. And again, because it's gray, it's still a very classic color and it's lovely over this gray knit. And then adding the leather skirt and the boots kind of give it a bit more edge. Um, it's still quite warm here in New York, so I'll probably get away with wearing legs out for like one more week max before I have to wear it tight. So I'm making the most of it. I'll definitely be wearing this this week. And then outfit number three is a more going out style outfit. Here in New York, we never really dress up that much unless it's for like a really fancy event or something. Like on a typical Friday or Saturday night out, I just wear something that's like obviously dressy, but not over the top dressy. It's definitely more casual here in New York. So I always look for pieces that are like, eye-catching and unique but still I know that they won't be like too over the top for nights out here so the next outfit which is kind of like my going out outfit is styled around this blazer oh oh god it looks like a really cool color in the in the camera so basically it's kind of like a metallic bronzy color it's a really really simple blazer it's from Revolve and it's from How 
house of Harry Loso, Nicole Richie's brand, which I just love her style. I think she's so cool and she's been one of my style inspirations for like years and years now. I love the way she wears like really oversized stuff. Um, but this blazer is from her collection and I just love it. When I saw it on the website, I was like, oh wow, okay. That's still a blazer. I love my blazers. I love wearing them on nights out, but it, it kind of gives a more like dressed up fancier feel. So let's see now how I style this. Okay, so this is the blazer on. I literally kept it so simple, literally a full black outfit, really kind of simple classic heels and my YSL bag. With these kind of statement blazers, especially when you're wearing metallics or kind of like sequins or anything like that, keep the rest of your outfit really simple. That's always my rule. And this is like exactly the outfit I would wear in my next night out. <laughs> it's just so easy and so, but still so dressed up. You know, you have the kind of craziness on top and then you just keep the rest really simple and honestly you will never go wrong with an outfit like this. Okay, and then outfit number four is my casual look. So a casual Sunday here in New York, if I'm gonna give a stroll to the park or like a casual Friday night, whatever it is, this is kind of my cozy, comfy look that I would go to and it's based around this stunning aviator jacket. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen that I have a black aviator jacket. I just got it from River Island and it is the comfiest thing ever. So once that arrived, I went online and I looked for like different color versions. Um, the dream is to get the acne one. Like I think if you're into kind of acne and more designer pieces, you'll have heard or you'll have seen that acne studios, beautiful black aviator jacket. But I wanna be sure that I would get enough wear out of it because it's quite pricey. So this season I'm kind of just like investing in, you know, less expensive versions of them just to see if I'll wear it enough. And I just saw this and I had to have it. So basically it's kind of like a burgundy color, which I love this time of the year. I've literally been online searching burgundy trousers, burgundy jumpers. Ask Kaylin, I'm like a psycho. I'm just, when I get a color in my head, I want like everything in that color. So I saw this and oh my God, I fell in love. I really hope this isn't sold out. I have to have a look, but if it is sold out, um, I'll have a look for some similar versions for you and see what I can get. This one is from Darcy Perkins and all the inside is like a faux fur. It's so soft and then it's more like a suede on the outside. The hardware is silver and it's like kind of an oversized fit. Um, so this is my casual look so let's see how I styled it. Okay so this is the jacket on. It is the coziest thing ever. It's lined with the faux fur so immediately it's like really warm. So with this outfit because the jacket is quite warm I just kept it very simple. I actually wore a quite a light black jumper inside from River Island and also my River Island Molly black jeans, which I live in. I wear these for going out and for casual wear and they just fit me so nicely. I get the eight regular just for like reference. And then for this look, I kept the shoes quite casual as well. They're my acne boots. These are like my go-to daytime boots. The boots I wear like when I know I have to be walking around or I just don't want to have like uncomfortable boots on with like a huge heel. So these are like my everyday acne boots and then my Givenchy bag. So I think with these kind of like colored coats, I'd always opt for a very simple outfit inside. So I do stick with all black. This could be cool as well with like a cream jumper inside or a little bit of color, but I love like an all black look and then a statement coat. That's what I love to go for. So yeah, here it is, my, my cozy daytime look. Okay, outfit number five. The next item is a little bit, I think you'll either love them or you hate them, but I actually love them. I went in and tried on a pair like this in Topshop and they were so horrible on me. <laughs> and I like Topshop, I have loads of stuff from them, but for some reason these pants were so... Oh, they were so bad on me, so it kind of turned me off. But then I saw them on the River Island website and I said, look, I'll give them a go again because these ones were more like a leggingy feel. So these are them. They're like these really shiny vinyl leggings and I think that they're kind of a scary piece. I think if you saw these online or you saw them in the store, they're a little bit daunting. Like, what do I style them with? Like... Oh, so many questions, but honestly, these are so cool on and they're so eye-catching because I live in black jeans and like black leggings and stuff during autumn winter, but I'm always trying to find ways to kind of spruce it up a bit. And these like 
more kind of shiny leggings are actually so cool and if they're styled the right way. So you'll have seen on my Instagram that I kept it really simple when I wore these for the first time, just a completely black outfit and cool white boots. I was gonna put that outfit in this video as well, but it's already on my Instagram, so I'll pop a picture here and you can head on over and get the details there. But I figured I'd style them another way for the video and I think the trick with these are just to keep the rest of the outfit simple. Don't go too over the top, don't try and like clash too much with the legging, like always like, keep it to your your own style but these will make your outfit very eye-catching so this is how I style these Okay, so with those kind of crazy statement leggings, I kept it really very much my style, as I already said. So I paired it with a kind of a cream off-white polo neck and a beautiful green trench, which I think I've had now for two seasons. I think I got this like two years ago and I'm still wearing it every season. And there always seems to be like similar versions of this online. So I'll be sure to find some similar ones and link them below. So as you can see, like I could have just worn, you know, plain black jeans with this kind of look but adding the kind of vinyl-y statement leggings actually gives this more of like an oomph and the black jeans will kind of more blend in but these like really make it pop and it makes it feel more dressed up even though it's still a very comfortable casual look which you could kind of wear anywhere I'd wear this on like a fancier Sunday <laughs> so a Sunday that I'm like going somewhere really nice or you know that I know I need to kind of look put together but I still feel really comfy and just kind of really casual as well so I love love this look I definitely love what the leggings add to it and finally outfit number six is kind of a little bonus outfit that I actually wasn't even going to put in but it's what I'm wearing today and um, hopefully you can see and I'll stand up now and show you better in the cutaway so it's a leather dress that's the hero product from this this was from Zara I found it in the sale during the summer for like 10 euro and I knew I would love it for this time of the year you could wear it on its own for nights out and stuff if you wanted to but I love it with the shirt inside so let me show you now how it looks. Okay so this is how I style the leather dress. Basically leather dresses are kind of these things that are not just for nights out. If you layer properly inside them you can turn them into a day look, a workwear look, so many options. So what I did was I just paired this kind of roughly sleeve um, shirt. It has a collar as well. It's also from Zara. It was also a sale purchase but I'll link some different options below and you probably have something in your wardrobe already even if it's like a lace top or a polo neck jumper or just a regular jumper. It's all about the layering and then for my boots I went with my sock boots again I love these so much and I actually am just trying to wear them as much as I can with so many different outfits and they just make every outfit feel a little bit more kind of styled and trendy and I'm loving it with this so layering will be your best friend in autumn and that's everything guys six autumn outfits i really hope you enjoyed this style of video let me know what you think let me know what you think of the format how i kind of did it with the cutaways and chatting and stuff and i'm always open to ideas on the style of my videos so that you will enjoy watching them i hope you got some inspiration um in case you missed it i do this thing over on my instagram called retros november outfits i did it for the first time last november and i'm gonna do it again this november so if you follow me on instagram you'll definitely see some of these outfits over the next couple of weeks and also loads more outfits as well so if you do want more inspiration be sure to head over to my instagram at retroflame every day during november i'll be posting a new outfit every day of actually what i'm wearing so the casual stuff will be in there the fancy stuff literally everything i'm wearing during the month will be on my instagram so yeah i'll leave it there for today i really hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching i'm always so happy for any feedback thumbs up um i'd love for you to subscribe i have this really weird goal i've set for myself that i would love to make it to 50,000 subscribers before um, by Christmas or like by the end of the year so bit of a long shot but it's good to set those goals I think <laughs> so I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye